How's it going my fellow aviators? I hope you guys are all well. Now let's talk about the 777X. So last week Boeing announced it has completed a firm configuration of the 777 plane, which is the larger version of the new 777X aircraft family. This means that the basic design of the airplane has been determined and it allows Boeing to finalize the design of individual components. This milestone indicates that development of the 777X remains on track, with the first test flight scheduled to be in 2019 and the first delivery one year later in 2020. This is important because demand for the current generation 777 has slowed down considerably and Boeing needs to have the 777X ready on time to ensure that there's a smooth transition between both products. Now Boeing's current generation 777-300ER is the biggest twin engine jet flying today. While there are larger jumbo jets like the 747 and the A380, both of these planes have four engines and as a result they burn more fuel and have significantly higher maintenance costs. This has made the jumbo jet unpopular with many airlines. Now the 777 however is unique because it's even larger than the 777-300ER and is designed to seat more than 400 passengers in a standard configuration. That puts it roughly on par with the 747 which is by far the best selling jumbo jet in history in terms of passenger capacity. Because it offers jumbo jet like capacity with a twin engine design, the 777-9 is likely to be the most fuel and cost efficient wide body aircraft per seat. Now Boeing claims that its operating cost will be 10% lower than the A350-1000, but this still remains to be seen. Now Boeing has already gained 306 firm orders for the 777-X. That represents more than 3 years of production at the current 777 line rate of 8.3 aircraft per month. Now this is pretty impressive for a plane that won't be ready until 2020, although more than two thirds of the orders came from two airlines, with Emirates ordering 150 and Qatar Airways with 60 orders. Now as the 777X is introduction into service nears, more and more airlines will be thinking about their post-2020 fleet. And due to the plane's ability to replace all the jumbo jets and offer similar capacity at a lower cost, the 777X is likely to find plenty of takers. However, the same can't be said for the current generation 777. At the end of last year, the 777 backlog was down to 246 planes, equal to about 2.5 years of production. The 777 more or less sold out through the end of 2016, and Boeing has sold about half of the 2017 delivery positions, but most of the 2018 and 2020 delivery slots are still available. Boeing has received firm orders for 34 current generation 777s, plus another 10 commitments and they have stated that it needs to generate 40 to 60 orders per year for the next few years to complete the production bridge to the 777X. It seems like it's on track for now, but the pace of orders for the outgoing model is likely to slow down with each year passing. Now this is why it's important for Boeing to stay on schedule with the 777X. The sooner Boeing can get the 777X into service, the fewer current generation 777s it will need to sell. That in turn will lower the risk of Boeing needing to cut the 777 line's production rate which would damage its earnings and its cash flow. Now once the 777X enters into service by 2020, Boeing will have relatively new products for all of its high volume commercial jet categories, such as the narrow bodies with the 737 MAX, the small wide bodies with the 787 and the large wide bodies with the 777X. And hopefully this will put the company in a great position for good profits and free cash flow. Now we have one more year for the 777X and I'm eagerly excited for its arrival as the time passes and hopefully Boeing will reveal more information and in pictures regarding the aircraft. Now if you guys have any information to add, then share it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.